how about this? Don't spend on a kitchen reno. Upcycle, okay? And you'll save a bunch of cash. Simple as that to give us more tips with Bluebird, uh, Bluebird Upcycled Style. It's Erin Rochelle joining us on the Hi. show one more time. Thanks so much for having me here. It's always great to have you here because you. you give us some tips and the tips lead to saving cash. Absolutely. Which is the best of part, of course. Yep. Uh, now, I, I know just in case people haven't seen you on our show before, uh, Bluebird Upcycled Style, you haven't been around for too long in your business? Uh, we've been almost three years three now years. That, we've been, that we've been around for, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so upcycled, pretty Kay. trendy term. It is, but it's something that has really um, been coming up quite a bit here in Ottawa, and a lot of people are really into it. Basically, upcycling is taking something that is old and tired and transforming it into something that is beautiful and functional. Mm -hmm. So if you think about that, you can pretty much apply that to, to anything. And that's where you save your cash, obviously. Absolutely, yeah. And it's probably easier than just renovating a whole kitchen. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and way less cost. Uh, yeah. it, it's, it's way less expensive. Mm -hmm. um, if you're looking at redoing a kitchen, a lot of times it can be anywhere from 20 to 50,000 we're getting new kitchen cabinets and a lot of times all you really need to do because a lot of people have moved into homes or they're just about to move out they've got great structured wood cabinets um, mm -hmm. wood cabinets but all they really need to do is just is just paint them mm -hmm. because who has that kind of cash for a kitchen nobody nobody <laughs> nobody that and I when you paint it's probably one hundred thousandth of that price really yeah, so <laughs> yeah basically d depending on your on your on the size of your kitchen of course it can be anywhere from usually around 300 bucks so mm -hmm. if you think about that 300 bucks rather than spending 30 to fifty thousand dollars it's a huge cost saving okay I know you've got some demoing to do here yes. you've got some pictures to show us but yes we'll get to the pictures in a second because I want to talk about the paint that you use okay. that's the important thing yes so um, I, I carry two kinds of paint they're both Canadian made they're the best on the market and they're fantastic so one is fusion mineral paint mm -hmm. it's a Canadian made paint it has a built-in top coat in it the colors are gorgeous and and uh, you can really get some um, uh, really fantastic finishes using these paints. Okay. So this is this is that, and I also carry fat paint. The and fat what, paint. Yeah. So what I've done today is I have a few different kitchen cabinets that I'm going to show you with both of these kinds of okay. paints. Okay. You want to show us some before and afters? I'd like to show you some pictures. Yeah. So I've got some pictures here showing some before and after of some of the kitchens. Okay. These are from some of the retailers that carry fat paint and fusion mineral paint. This is a before kitchen. A lot of people have this kind of kitchen in their home. Um, pretty standard and rather than going out the cabinets are in great shape they've just added some paint mm. they've painted them and uh, it's gorgeous it's a really great way to transform things quite easily so the next one coming up this is another before and uh, this person had a lot of fun which you can do which is nice using these kinds of paints you can have a lot of fun with it so she did a bit of a different color that's called blushing bombshell it's from fat paint from the Amanda Forest line and she painted the top cabinet so you can see how much it's really transformed that really is something yeah it is and like these are great cabinets and look at this this is pretty much your standard outdated kitchen uh, beautiful coat of white paint and a chandelier I love that and it's really taken it from outdated to really elegant and classic mm -hmm. so that just kind of gives you an idea the next one here so these are some colors that are really hot happening right now in 2018 in, in kitchen trains now they may not work for everybody but it's just to give you an idea of what's happening so this is a gorgeous green uh, blues are really definitely in right now deeper blues cobalt blues uh, even softer blues are a really fantastic addition to a kitchen and of course gray gray is still here and gray is a great option for people that may not want to go with a big hit of color but you still want to have a little bit of color it's quite awesome so I just wanted to show this piece this is from the Amanda Forrest collection it's called Navy State of Mind I love this piece Navy is a classic color it's timeless and this is a color that even though it is a trend it's always going to be here so it's a really great way and uh, um, a really great color to paint your kitchen cabinets. Wow. It's amazing because I see those pictures and it really does look like new items. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's new the items. thing. And you can see right here, too. So these are some kitchen cabinets that I got. So this is essentially the, the before. Okay. Um, so this is pretty standard. A lot of people have this kind of kitchen cabinet. Mm -hmm. And what I did is I painted them. So I kind of used some of the colors that are through Fusion. So this one is through as Bayberry, which is green. So it's a little bit more of a muted green, which works perfectly. Perfectly, if you really want to feel like you've uh, you've got a little bit of an organic feel happening in your kitchen. Okay. This is gray. This is called 
gray from fat paint and I love this color so it's gray not quite a white paint. yes what a, name. what a name I know love you like that paint yeah so <laughs> this is a gold gray which is a really gorgeous color so if you you, you don't want to go all color this is a really great option okay and the last one here is through fusion this is seaside uh, and as I mentioned all blues are really really in right now but this one is really fantastic and I can see this in a cottage and if you paired this with like a gray color it would look really amazing mm -hmm. so these okay. are basically all the colors and I have a few steps when yeah. you are painting your your kitchen cabinets. Sure we get to those steps, yes. right? So, so there's five steps. So first, you want to pick your color. Um, so today we're going to be using navy state of mind. Can I ask you how you know which color is best for your kitchen? Yes, you can. So usually, what I tell people to do is they want to take a good look at what their kitchen counters are. So if you're not going to be changing everything in your kitchen, look at your bash, backsplash, your floor, and trying to combine those colors to work with a color to put on your kitchen cabinet okay. so it all flows. Fair so this one I'm going to be using. Uh, this is Navy State of Mind. So color selection, style selection. If you just want to go nice and clean and modern, we can do that. And prep is probably the most important thing to do. You okay. have to do a proper prep. So this is TSP. You're going to squirt some on, mm -hmm. take a shop rag, wipe it nice and clean and remove all the grease, and then you're going to give it a quick scuff up. Now, after you've done all that, you've rinsed it off. Then you can go right ahead and painting. Now, I love this color. This is Navy State of Mind, and this is a perfect color for That's a kitchen so cabinet. Yeah. So just by that, you can see how much you can completely transform your kitchen, save money, so you don't have to worry about spending all that money on something that is still in great shape. We have about a minute left here too, Kay. so <laughs> looks amazing. You can you can see right away it transforms. Yep. Yeah, so typically I do about two coats, and then what you want to do at the end of it, once it dries, this stuff dries really quickly too. You do two coats, and then you can go ahead, and you can put your finishing coat on it, and then you're good to go. You've got a brand new kitchen Simple that no one that? else, everyone's going to think that you got a custom made for yourself. And of course, you offer courses. I do, yeah. So we've just started offering a bunch of courses. So they range from creative workshops where you can come in, you can uh, take, take projects home. Uh, you can also learn uh, all the techniques that you need to know to refinish your own furniture and make things really beautiful and the way we've set it up is that you can continue learning we've got different levels and we've also just came up with DIY kits that if you don't have time you can come in you can buy them and you can take them Amazing. home and head to your cottage bluebird upcycled style.ca Aaron Rochelle thank you very much thanks so much again for having me always informative saving us cash we've got more daytime coming up on Rogers TV